In the year 2003, uh, we got very badly flooded. It, uh, it came as a bit of a surprise uh, because it apparently had not flooded for a very long time before then. And that started me off looking at flood defence systems and stuff like that. Now, with a lot of study, a lot of reading, water pressures and where it's coming from and all that jazz, uh, I arrived at an obvious conclusion in that every property and every estate, I guess, and every area needs a different kind of look at it. But as the uh, government had been advised not to dredge, um, which is odd really because historically this area if you um, look at it if historically uh, dredging prevented it being flooded but there you go their decision so I decided I would have to defend my own property and you might be interested in what I got up to it might be useful for you and at the end of this, I'll give a list of uh, people I dealt with. And it's up to you whether you go with them. I have no financial interest in this whatsoever. The first thing I did was look at how high the water had risen on our own property. And in this wall here, now it's white, I don't know whether you can see it. There's a kind of row of vertical bricks. And that had been... Uh, the water had gone over the top of that, not by much, but it had. So I raised the level of this wall up so that it is, well now this one is more than a foot higher than previously known uh, flood levels. Into the pillars of the wall are fitted these uh, channels and into those channels go what are known as flood logs you can see them there and they stack up inside they have um, keys that can, I can lift them easily uh, I think if it was Debbie she'd probably have to have a bit of help but the floor is flat and that's good because the previous system had a groove in the floor and that was always well dirtied up and mocked up the work is almost finished now, we're down to nitty gritty bitty bitty but um, this wall also was raised at the other side of the house and again these flood logs go into the three areas where we can access the garden and the garages. The house is all glass on one side and I didn't want to lose the view of the garden and the river so I chose a glass wall design along here and initially I was advised that would be very very thick and very very expensive but I thought well it's not all that deep when it gets up this high so the pressure can't be all that great as the dining room in the house it has this apparently curved it's really faceted I did exactly the same with the glass that's going around here you can see it's uh, joined together by silicon uh, infills it's very strong it's set in aluminium and then stainless steel topping on that patio um, soon to be capped with aluminium which we have here ready to be fitted uh, we've got two large sump pumps one at each end because water rises under the house and that will take it away out over the wall um, it will only really be connected up when it's necessary which is why uh, I didn't want it to intrude again too much into the property even though I expect uh, the water to be held back and pumped away I still raised all the electrical sockets around the property above water level around the back up to above um, where the water has ever been it's coated with an invisible but waterproof paint I guess you'd call it um, to prevent water seepage through the brickwork itself the water did rise just above the um, level of these 
we have two of these back doors on the house but they are now fitted with flood proof doors they're completely waterproof and when they close you know they they clamp in really tightly this is the other door and that more or less dealt with the exterior the prevention of the water reaching the house itself and if it does reach the house the idea is it can't get in inside the house and i know it's belt and braces um we removed the, all the carpets on the ground floor well all of them there was only one big one uh, and replaced it with tiling which gives this place a very mediterranean villa look and just like outside all the wall sockets are now way above any water level ever and that has proved to be a, a benefit we really like raised sockets in the walls i'm sure we do that wherever we went so it's a bit like i said at the beginning it's um every property every area is different uh the if you live in a floodplain area i believe you should be protecting your property um until such time as governments make decisions on how to handle water when it comes they seem to be surprised it's a bit like snow every every christmas they never know it's coming uh, so i'm very pleased with the way this has all worked out it is nowhere near as expensive as the original uh, estimates and quotations because i farmed a lot of it out to local workers i do like to use local people if i can and and that's it if you live as i say in the floodplain area good luck to you hope you uh, solve your problems